healthy, let's make supper again. Some nights I just need a simple meal of some hearty soup and delicious bread. And that's what we're having, my vegetable lentil soup and homemade focaccia. Yes, I said a homemade, but trust me on this, this is a quick rise, no need recipe that you're gonna wanna have in your back pocket to show off just how awesome a balabusta you truly are. Now let's cook supper. In a pot, I have some diced up carrots, zucchini, and sweet potato. And all you're going to do is put in some olive oil, and then we're going to add in some of the garlic from Dorote, a couple of those, and let it get soft. Once these have softened a bit, you're going to now add in a cup of the lentils. Give that a mix. And while it's still sauteing, you're also gonna add in your spices. I have salt, oregano, onion powder, and turmeric and black pepper. Give it a mix and let it saute for a little bit in all those spices. And now I'm adding in all of the water. Now you can use uh, vegetable broth here, but what I love about this soup recipe is that you don't need to add vegetable broth here. There's a lot of good flavors from the seasonings, so though you can use vegetable broth, water totally fine, and that I always have on hand. Now give it one last mix, and then we're going to cover and let it cook until it's soft and ready to eat. It is time to make the easiest homemade bread you will ever make. It is quick, it is no rise, and here we go. All you're going to do is add in some warm water straight into the pan. You can also line it with parchment. Instant yeast, this is the dry yeast. I store mine in the freezer and give that a mix. Now you can let it sit for a couple of minutes if you'd like, but if you're short on time, you don't have to. Usually this yeast is fine. The only reason why we let it sit is to let it bubble a bit and that way we're confirming that the yeast is not gone bad and that way your dough will rise. Next up, we're going to add in the egg and the olive oil straight in there and mix that up as well just to break up the egg. And now I have here some flour and salt and I'm just going to add that in. I'm using white flour, but if you wanna use a whole grain flour, I would just use probably about a half a cup less as it absorbs the liquid differently. Now we're just gonna mix that all together. You'll see this doesn't come together exactly like dough that you would use for like rolls. It's a little bit wetter and stickier, but that's what we want. That way it can go easily into the pan and it's easier to mix. Now at this point you can continue using the spatula, but I do like to just use gloved hands. That way I can easily spread it all out. Okay, I've got my gloves on and I'm just going to give it a tiny bit of mix, make sure everything's mixed in. You'll see it's pretty sticky. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to put in the pan a little bit more olive oil around and on top and we're just going to coat it a little bit. That way it won't stick, and we're going to press this all around and into the pan. Now you can double this recipe for a pan like this. You can make it thinner, thick, whatever you'd like. You can use a smaller pan, eight by eight, if you want a higher dough, but I like a thinner focaccia, so that's what we're doing. Now we're gonna let this sit for just a couple minutes. I'm gonna cover it. Now I've just poured on top some olive oil that I had left over with garlic from Shabbos, as well as some sun-dried tomato paste, and I'm just spreading it on top. Now you can use minced garlic here. You could also use anything that you really like. I usually use olive oil, some minced garlic, like from the freezer, but I happen to have had this garlic, so why not use it, because it's delicious. And I'm just going to now use my fingers and just press it into the dough like you would focaccia. Make those little grooves with your fingers. Push it in make little bubbles in the dough. Now because this is a quick rise, it's not exactly like focaccia would be, not as bubbly, but it's absolutely delicious either way. And I am gonna to top it with a little bit of parsley for some coloring. I'm just using dry parsley. And now in the oven it goes. Here it is out of the oven. It smells incredible. It looks delicious and we're just going to cut into it so I can show you how it looks like on the inside. It is incredible and you literally made this in one pan i mean come on check it out nice and fluffy perfect for dipping into your soup yum the soup is done it's time to serve a delicious bowl of it it's really hearty full of vegetables but they're small enough that hopefully some of your picky eaters won't care and then you can just take some delicious bread dip it in and enjoy. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we do. A nice simple meal, made in no time, and you even made some homemade bread.